Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Krauss, Senior Director for Worldwide Health at Microsoft. As a physician, my primary goal has always been to provide the best care to my patients. This often involves collaboration with other caregivers, which, as you know, has become more important and often challenging. That's why I'm so excited to introduce Microsoft's Unified Communications Technologies for Healthcare. These technologies work with many of your current systems to provide more security and flexibility in the various ways that you communicate. Now, the scenarios we present here are fictional, but they'll give you a good idea of how our unified communications technologies are currently being used by healthcare organizations around the world. At the core of it all is a feature we call rich presence. The color-coded dots next to the names let you know which colleagues are available and how. Now, since you set your own status, you can let others know the best way to contact you at any given time. Caregivers around the world are finding that unified communications technologies help them manage communications more effectively so they can spend more time with their patients. Now, for instance, I can see that Dr. Andrews is in surgery, but the Dr. Lowe is on rounds and is available. I've just sent an instant message to Dr. Lowe to see if she can tell you more about caregiver collaboration. Hi. I just got an instant message from Dr. Krauss saying you'd like to know more about using unified communications technologies to work together. As an intern, I really value the ability to easily find and contact specialists in our provided network. As you can see here, I can look up a surgeon, cardiologist, physical therapist, or pulmonary specialist with just a few clicks. When I'm with the patient, I can quickly reach other members of her care team to ask about treatment options. When I need a visual consult, I can switch an instant message to video conference where I can share x-rays, test results, or even a real-time photo of the patient. If I can't reach the person right away, I can leave an email that can be picked up with voice access. Even if he or she is on the road or is in a part of the hospital where people are required to use a landline instead of a cell phone. Let me hand you off to Dr. Andrews. She can tell you how communication tools help her manage her unpredictable schedule. Still in surgery. I'll send her an email to see if she can catch up with us later. Hi there, thanks so much for waiting. They're actually flipping the OR right now, so I've got a little downtime. I'm catching up on some emails and calls I missed while I was in surgery. You know, I especially love live conferencing because it helps me keep close tabs on my patients, and I can support their care teams even if I'm across town. In this particular case, Dr. Lowe is working with one of my patients, so we can review her x-rays together, share reference materials on the web, or even set up an impromptu poll with other members of her care team. That way we get a consensus on the best treatment options. And if it just so happens I'm in surgery during grand rounds, then, like this one on preventing staph infections, I could just as easily view it later as a webcast. Excuse me. I've got to take this one, and it looks like it's probably going to take some time to sort out. So I'm going to pass you back to Dr. Krauts. With the security and flexibility of Microsoft Unified Communications Technologies, I'm able to focus more of my time and energy on patient-centered priorities. Well, this means enhanced caregiver collaboration, a dramatic reduction in medical errors, and more effective time management. Both patients and healthcare providers are demanding this level of collaboration. And the good news is, it's possible with many of the systems that you have in place today. A number of progressive healthcare organizations around the world have already realized enormous benefits with our caregiver collaboration solutions that include Microsoft Unified Communications Technologies. You have the potential. The time is now.